Hello, Team Capricorn. It's Empire333 here. Welcome back to my channel. and Welcome if you're new. Everything you need to know about me is down below in the description box. Uh, my website is having some issues, so email me with the email number there instead of going to the website, okay? So we'll, this is your love tarot reading. Let's see what's going on with you. I feel like a lot of you are in the middle of big changes, big moves. And you're up in your head about um, all the new stuff, like the choices, decisions, you know. And Spirit is saying here, clear your mind. Clear your mind, Capricorn, okay? Ooh. There is some sort of revelation that's going to come to you. This is you. Okay? This is you showing up. I feel like there's some fears holding you back with these new beginnings, but you're gonna, you're going to revive some sort of passion you had in the past. I don't know what this is with, okay? Because what I'm seeing you as is like you're becoming more and more financially secure and confident in your own skin, okay? Um, and I'm seeing the Empress card, okay? It doesn't matter what gender you are watching, Capricorn. I'm seeing the gender card. We'll get into this person's, uh, the other person's energy in a sec, okay? How they feel about you, what they're thinking about. But Spirit really wants you to raise your confidence levels. I don't know why you're questioning or doubting yourself, okay? Rest and rejuvenate. So this is about some sort of break you need to take before you act upon something, okay? I don't know what this is. This could be a job. This could be, um, yeah, there's a tower moment here and the judgment card. You might be seeing 999. Huh. Oh, I get what's happening. So Capricorn, there is some decision, there is some new change, you're going through transformation, you are walking into new beginnings, I'm seeing this, but for some reason, I feel like your, your masculine and feminine energy are not balanced, and that's why you're having issues with making a move, okay? So make sure that you balance yourself when it comes to that, because... Some of you are like, well, I'm not going to go for it. Should I pursue it or should I not? Or whatever this is, okay? It doesn't have to be love. This is about your creativity. Look at that sacral chakra. This is about your creativity. There's something going on. Okay, so pay attention. Be mindful about that. Let's see who's, who's thinking about Capricorn. Spirit, tell me who is... Thinking about Capricorn. Okay. Who's this? Seven of Swords. Um, Seven of Swords is not really... It's not always, you know, cheating, deceit, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is somebody I feel who snuck out of your life somehow. Okay. They snuck out of your life. You probably stopped communication with them. And now they want to come forward okay we got a lot of signs here Gemini Aquarius and Libra we also have Scorpio here Aries Leo Sagittarius Taurus Virgo Capricorn Emperor this is interesting Aries energy Okay, this is a soulmate. This is somebody who snuck out of your life. They cut communication. You have disconnected from this person. Okay, Capricorn. And well, it's, it's kind of strange because this person feels like you turned your back on them. Okay. I just heard te amo, 
te amo. That means my love, or I, I think that means my love. Or this person is saying, love me. I just heard love me. Okay, who is this person's spirit? Or I, what, why don't I say this? What does this person want? Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my God. Look at this. This is so interesting. The Empress and the Emperor. I mean, this is like the counterpart, right? This is the divine pair, the divine couple. Do you know what I think? I think there is some type of mixed signals going on between you and somebody else, okay? I feel that you're giving mixed signals, Capricorn. They're giving mixed signals, okay? Or you're interpreting it that way. Okay, spirit, why are there mixed signals going on, let's just say, from this person's perspective? Why? What's going on? Okay, interference. So, there is some type of conflict going on in this person's life. So tell me more about the conflict. What is the conflict? Is it inner, outer? Whoa, okay. Okay. We got the Hierophant card, Justice, the Fool. Okay, this person, whoever they are, are freeing themselves of a, uh, a cycle, okay? They're closing out a cycle in their life, Capricorn. So there's a lot of learning they're doing. I feel like this person, they're, they're in the midst, like I said, of closing out a cycle, but they learned so many lessons from it. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic cycle with someone. It could be any cycle in their life, okay? We got justice here, which means that there is a contract they had, okay? Taurus energy here, Libra energy. There is a contract that they closed out, that they're closing out right now in their lives. This has to do with the past, okay? There is some type of past. It could also be a fa familial, a family karmic cycle, or it could be um, a cycle that they got stuck in because of You know what I'm hearing? This person, whoever they are, they got stuck in a cycle of not being honest with themselves when it comes to a to romantic relationship. Somebody could have deceived this person, okay? They could have had like some sort of deception from a person, so maybe somebody cheated on them, and they they were going through life like. Um, like pushing people away, okay, is what I'm seeing. Pushing people away, pushing them away. And that's what's keeping you and this person together. So this is what's happening. I'm, I'm going to see it from your side, actually. What mixed signals are you giving? Because definitely you're giving each other mixed signals, okay? What signals, mixed signals is Capricorn giving their person here? Wow, there's a lot of, you could be telling this person, uh, I don't know if you've met this person yet, Capricorn, some of you have not met this person, remember this video, everybody's on different timelines, but this is someone who, like, maybe you told them you're not going to wait anymore for them, or you told them, like, uh, you gave them an impression that you'd wait forever. That's why they're not making up, making moves. It's been stagnant between you two. 
Okay. The sun. So this is what I'm seeing here. The roles are messed up here. Okay, the roles. Everybody plays a role in every single relationship, connection, um, experience. Okay, and the role that you're playing is hard to play. And let me tell you why. If you're the feminine, it's like you feel like you have to be the masculine. Okay. These are just energies, guys. Gender does not matter. I always emphasize on that. You are, you have, okay, this is what I want to say. Okay. Oh, God, spirit, like, explain this. Spirit wants you in your role of the empress, okay? Because whoever this person is, if you want to make it right with this person, because I feel like both of you, are going through things to get you on your throne, okay? And each person, right? This person is predominantly masculine, so they're getting into masculine mode while you both are in the stagnant energy. Maybe communication is not good, consistent, or there's no communication at all. This person here, I mean you, they think of you as the feminine energy, but you've shown up as a masculine energy. So there is mixed signals going on, okay, at this time due to that. And that's why you're questioning how can we come together and collaborate? Or this person's looking at you like, can I really collaborate with um, Capricorn, okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, this is somebody who's thinking very logically and practically right now. They want to know if they should invest in you, okay? Let's see what their next moves are. What is this person's next move spirit towards Capricorn? Ace of Pentacles. So this person is really thinking about Yeah, this person's up in their head about you, okay? They're really thinking about how they should make a next move. Should they make a next move? But this person, I feel, is going to be very... Uh, very strategic about how they deal with you, Capricorn, okay? So... It could seem like to you they're playing games, and it could seem like to them you're playing games, okay? So they want to know if they can trust you, and you want to know if they could trust them. This is very interesting. You're mir mirroring each other, okay? Autumn, full moon, the queen, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Libra energy, three. The number three might be significant, 33. 32, 424, okay, master, yeah, see, both of you are learning how to master, we got the magician energy here, so this person is very, um, like, they're trying to manifest you, but in a way where you both are happy, I feel like this person, um, Wants to really get to know you on a deeper level, Capricorn. I really like this person's energy. I'm just saying. Friends, okay? So, oh, somebody else got this friends card. Who was it? Friends first. Let me see. Um, Sagittarius got that. So this person might have Sagittarius or you might have Sagittarius energies, placements in your chart. Um... This person really wants to get you to know you on a deeper level, but I feel like they are 
taking their time with that. I feel that even though they moved away from you, they disconnected, they still, um, yeah, they're waiting for some type of a sign, mental force, spiritual insight, hope and faith, wise judgment, power and strength, okay? This person is really um, waiting for some type of a sign. Like I said, this person is really learning right now, right? They're closing out a karmic cycle. This is a person who's spiritual, Capricorn. And I feel like this person really wants to get to know you better before they invest anything. They're moving really, like this person is wise, okay? But there's definitely mixed signals going on between you that needs to be cleared out, okay? I feel like this person does want to clear. Oh, God, this is get ripped, okay? And whoever this person is, they read books. They like reading books is what I'm hearing, okay? And I don't know, I'm getting Hawaii. Hawaii is significant, okay? All right, I hope this helped you, um, Capricorn. I wish you all the best and peace out.